Good morning, Wit Elementary. Happy Friday. This morning on the announcements, I said Friday, which I thought was pretty funny, right? Friday. We're all feeling that. Hopefully, you have had a great short week here at Wit Elementary. I have some awesome wolves that wanted to tell you about what we're learning in class this week. We're going to start with my kinder friend right here. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, what are you talking about in kindergarten this week? I'm talking about the little lady. That is not of you read the little old lady who's not afraid of anything. So is she afraid of spiders? No. Snakes? No. Miss Teeman? No. I love that book. That's a great book. Y'all are also talking about something in math. Can you remember that fancy word? Mm -hmm. Sequencing. Sequencing and looking at patterns, right? Can you show them our, our hand motions for sequencing? That's how we look at sequencing, right? Little groups in a pattern. I love it. Hey, come here. There's one more thing. Did you use anything special to do sequencing? No. Okay, thanks, Kevin. All right, let's go to this friend. What is your name? Paisley. Paisley, this is your first year as a Whit Wolf, isn't it? Are you loving it? We're so glad you're here. Can you tell me something that you learned this week at school? What are y'all talking about? Learning about bridges, what Bridges and how they're built and how they're constructed. Well, are you just doing a worksheet and just filling out some bubbles about, about bridges? No. No, what are you doing? Your box. Like like a construction engineer building it with boxes and then testing the pressure? That sounds so much fun. Is it a good fun time? I love it. I love it. All right, come here, Rockstar. What is your name? Brady. Tall Brady. Tall Brady there. Brady, tell me something you learned about in school this week. Adding, subtracting decimals. So fourth grade is still working on adding and subtracting decimals. What about science? You guys do anything cool in science? No, Ah, what's the fancy word for sink or flow? What's it called if something floats to the top? Um, Starts with a B? Boy. Buoyancy? Yeah. Talking about buoyancy and things that sink or flow? I love it. Good job. All right, where's my other friend? All right, what's your name? Gabe. Gabe, come on the other side for me. Gabe, can you tell me something you're talking about in school this week? Um, patterns of addition. Patterns of addition? That sounds hard. What are you using? What's the scientific tool that, or the mathematics tool that you are using to help you do that? Uh, well, you're using number lines. Oh, <coughs> so you're using number line. Talk me through that example you gave me. If you had a 158, and then talk, talk me through that again. So if you have So you're breaking the numbers apart and then moving incrementally using to a number line to, to try to find the answer. I love it. I love it. Good smart stuff happening in third grade. I saved the best for last because it's somebody's birthday week. Oh, okay. What is your name? Leah. Leah. How old are you going to be tomorrow? Seven. Seven. Are you so excited? <clears throat> I am so excited for you. Tell me what you're doing in the first grade, Leah. We were learning about habits and how they um, push apart. And then mm. we're learning about... The ways, north, east, west, and south. <gasps> and those are called what kind of directions? Mm -hmm. Call them cardinal directions, maybe? Yeah. yeah. And you guys were doing a really fun activity outside yesterday. Did y'all do that with your iPads? Yeah. We oh. took pictures of north, east, and west, and south. North, east, south, and west. And then you had to group them according to where they were, right? Yeah. Is that so much fun? I mm -hmm. love it. I love it. All right, Wood Elementary, thank you so much for watching. We hope that you have a fabulous weekend, and we will see you on Monday. Bye.